Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Klepper's Corner. Today's episode is going to be quick, but it's quite important. Today we're talking about Hurricane Helene, an unfortunate natural disaster that has displaced many and has taken Americans away from us in times like these. You'd expect the country to come together. But of course, in the year of 2024, it's being used to score political points. Let's take a quick look, shall we? Ideally, with the governor, that governor needs to... Uh... He's been trying to get them, and uh, I'm sure they're going to come through. But uh, he's been calling the president, hasn't been able to get him. But uh, I, I just spoke. The president just called me uh, yesterday afternoon. I missed him and called him right back. And he just said, hey, what do you need? And I told him, you know, we, we got what we need. We'll work through the federal process. He, he offered that if there's other things we need, just to call him directly, which I appreciate that. But Whoa! That's um, very nice from the former president. Great job fact-checking before you say something so wildly ignorant. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of ignorance, let's take a look at this clip. Roll it. Throughout Georgia, as well as uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Virginia, Alabama, and Tennessee. That's our big one. And the devastation wrought by the storm is uh, incredible. It's, it's so extensive. Nobody thought this would be uh, happening, especially now it's so late in the season for the hurricanes. Nobody thought this would happen, as we can see with this handy-dandy graphic chart, since I know Donald doesn't like words. We are in the peak of the hurricane season, and if you could remind me, who was the man pushing for members of Congress to get the government to shut down not too long ago? And who rolled back flood standards? Because I'm just not so sure. Donald also falsely claimed that the federal government and NC Democrat Governor Roy Cooper are directly going out of their ways to not help Republican areas. When Trump was asked for proof of this claim, the only words he could muster up were, look into it. So he's just creating another story like his VP picked J.D. Vance. And if we really want to play partisan games, then how about in 2017 when Donald Trump was president and Hurricane Matthew had hit North Carolina and Governor Cooper asked for $900 million in recovery money, but was only given 1% of that in $6.1 million. Who's targeting who, Donald? And with that, if the hurricane has personally affected you, I hope you can recover quickly. Stay safe out there. I'm Jordan Klepper. This was Klepper's Corner. Thank you all. Have a good one.